Deep Purple are one of the biggest rock bands of all time. They've sold more than 100 million records worldwide, but which of their songs dominate the world's most popular streaming platform? Today we're counting down the 25 most played Deep Purple songs on Spotify, and I'm sure some of these will surprise you. Kicking off our countdown at 25 with over 6.7 million plays is Maybe I'm a Leo. Featured on the 1972 Machine Head album, this deep cut favourite is noted for its groovy bassline and compelling vocals. The most recent song to make the top 25 from the 2020 album Whoosh, Throw My Bones reaffirms Deep Purple's relevance in the modern rock scene. This return to form for a band that's been going for more than half a century proved they can still cut it with today's rock pretenders. Showcasing a softer emotive side of Deep Purple, Love Conquers All from the 1990 album Slaves and Masters has more than 6.7 million plays. This powerful ballad features heartfelt lyrics and rich melodies with Joe Lynn Turner on vocals, the only album featuring him as lead singer with Deep Purple. A hidden gem from the 1972 Machine Head album, Never Before balances catchy vocals with an almost danceable rock sound. This song offers fans a deeper dive into the band's versatility. A Gypsy's Kiss is the first of four songs to come from the band's comeback 1984 album Perfect Strangers. This track is known for its melodic complexity and compelling storytelling, making it a highlight in Deep Purple's extensive catalogue. And here comes another, this time a poignant ballad from the 1984 Perfect Strangers album, Wasted Sunsets. Known for its evocative lyrics, this track leaves a lasting impact on listeners, speaking of life reflection, choices made and missed, time slipping away, and eternal hope. Sail Away from the 1974 album Burn captures Deep Purple's explorative songwriting. With nearly 7 million plays, its powerful bluesy riffs and cruising tempo resonate with the essence of their musical journey, which by this time was led by the new recruits David Coverdale and Glenn Hughes. Get In Tighter blends funky grooves with introspective lyrics. With 7.6 million plays, Glenn Hughes' soulful vocals combined with rock instrumentation make it a unique track in Deep Purple's discography. It's the only song in the top 25 from the 1975 album Come Taste the Band. Strap In for Speed King, a quintessential hard rock track from 1970's Deep Purple in Rock. This anthemic track with rapid tempo and fiery solos continue to influence rock fans and musicians alike, and remains a fan's favourite despite only coming in at number 17. Mistreated, a bluesy lament from the 1974 Burn album, has 9.3 million plays. David Coverdale's emotional depth and Richie Blackmore's intricate guitar work make this a powerful track that highlights the band's raw, soulful side. Fireball ignites with a relentless pace. The 1971 album's title track, with over 10 million plays, showcases Deep Purple at their most energetic, featuring Ian Pace's innovative drumming and fiery riffs that set this song apart. With its soulful and hard rock vibes, Stormbringer, the title track from the 1974 album, has 10.9 million plays. David Coverdale leads this groovy and immersive track, offering listeners a rich, dynamic experience. A fan favourite from Deep Purple's 90s era, balancing rock energy with introspective lyrics, Sometimes I Feel Like Screaming is the only representative from the 1996 album Perpendicular. This seven-minute track features Steve Morse on guitar, proving the band's continued relevance well into their fourth decade. Woman from Tokyo takes us to the land of the rising sun. From the 1973 album Who Do We Think We Are, driven by Gillen's punchy vocals and a chorus that sticks with you, all day. Feeling a bit lazy? This track from the 1972 Machine Head album, with over 22 million plays, is anything but sluggish. John Lord's bluesy organ riffs and extended instrumental intro, together with Richie Blackmore's stellar guitar solo, make this an unforgettable track from their catalogue. The top 10 features songs from six different studio albums and a non-album single, demonstrating the sheer size of their musical legacy and the continued quality of their output over so many years. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this, and let us know in the comments below what your favourite Deep Purple songs are. Into the top 10 we go, and this track with 24.3 million plays is knocking at your back door from the 1984 album Perfect Strangers. 
It's both hard-hitting and provocative. Ian Gillan's cheeky lyrics combined with the powerful melody reminds us why Deep Purple Mark II were a rock force to be reckoned with. Buckle up for a cosmic journey with Space Truckin'. This energetic track from Machine Head has taken many people on an interstellar trip with over 27 million plays. It's a testament to Deep Purple's adventurous spirit and creative flair. With its memorable riff, Black Knight has been a staple in Deep Purple's live performances for decades. Originally a non-album track, this song has been played over 43 million times and continues to capture the essence of the band's sound. The title track from the 1974 album that introduced David Coverdale and Glenn Hughes to the world. This high-energy classic with over 50 million plays features dynamic keyboards and searing guitar work, marking a new chapter in Deep Purple Saga. A hauntingly beautiful ballad, Soldier of Fortune from the 1974 album Stormbringer captures the melancholy of a wandering soul. With David Coverdale's emotive vocals, this track has resonated with over 69 million plays, leaving an indelible mark on rock ballads. We go back to where it all began with Hush. This track from their debut album Shades of Deep Purple became an early hit for the band, despite being a cover. Rod Evans leads the charge on vocals on this one which set the stage for Deep Purple's rise to rock royalty. A 10-minute epic anthem from the 1970 album Deep Purple in Rock, Child in Time is memorable not just for John Lord's unforgettable keyboard solos or Richie Blackmore's mesmerizing guitar solos, but for the incredibly unmatched vocal performance by Ian Gillen. From soft, gentle and haunting to the most powerful high-pitched screams in rock elevates this track to legendary status. Marking a triumphant return, Perfect Strangers, the title track from their 1984 comeback album, has 128.6 million plays. This slower-paced track, with a distinguished riff and strong melody, proved to be a hit with Deep Purple fans the world over. And before we reveal the two most played Deep Purple songs on Spotify, don't forget, leave your thoughts on this list in the comments below. Do the streaming numbers match your list of Deep Purple tracks? Let us know! Pipped into second place with a huge 218 million plays is the spirit of the open road captured in sound, in what could surely be the best driving song ever. Highway Star was the opening track from the band's 1972 masterpiece Machine Head. It's a quintessential example of Deep Purple's hard rock prowess. And finally, with a staggering 543 million plays, the undisputed king, Smoke on the Water. Also from the legendary Machine Head record, this track features one of the most iconic guitar riffs in rock history. The story of an infamous fire at a Frank Zappa concert remains etched forever into rock folklore. From the unforgettable riffs of Smoke on the Water to the soulful depth of Love Conquers All, these tracks showcase why Deep Purple remains a cornerstone of rock music.